Hey guys, welcome to Neri's Kitchen. Today we will give you the top 10 things you must have for meal planning success. And here with me today is Coach RJ. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming on the show. <laughs> Number one, I want you to pre-plan the food that you plan to eat tomorrow, today. And I want you to plan 75% of your food. This way, you're fully prepared for the next day. Number two, now that you know what you want to eat, it's time to go to grocery shopping. So for instance, if for lunch you like to eat chicken or chicken thighs, then make sure that chicken and chicken thighs are on your grocery list and make sure that you buy enough of those items so that it can last you for two to three days. I generally like to eat the same thing Monday through Wednesday and Wednesday through Friday, I switch it up. So if you gotta get Greek yogurt, if you gotta get spinach, if you gotta get protein shakes, then make sure that all those items are pre-planned on your list from your already pre-planned meals in MyFitnessPal. And number three, make sure that you have the essentials such as the MyFitnessPal app, the a scale, measuring cups, as well as your Tupperware. Now, your MyFitnessPal app, you can find it anywhere from like the Google Play Store or wherever you get your apps. It is a free app and it tracks all your foods and it can tell you how many grams of protein you have or other macros um, and how many calories per food item. Also a scale, a scale is very inexpensive. You can find it at Superstore or Amazon. It's about $10, that's the cheapest I've seen. Uh, measuring cups, you can find it literally anywhere. Even the dollar store has it just for a couple of bucks, as well as your food storage containers. Again, you can find it anywhere. I get mine from the dollar store, but you can find it even on Amazon. Number four, I like to batch cook my meals. And what I mean by batch cook is cooking a large amount of food so I have enough food for two or three days. So what I like to do is actually batch cook my proteins. For example, if I'm batch cooking my chicken or steak, I would make a lot of that food and then I would pre-portion it and plug it into my fitness pal and then put it into my food storage container. The same with my starches. If it's rice or potatoes, I would cook a large amount portion it and then again punch it into my fitness pal and the same thing with the vegetables as well and it's important to actually track your vegetables for that reason because i like to know how much fiber i am consuming that day also a tip with batch cooking is if you like to have food items or a meal that has multiple ingredients such as stews then what you're going to want to do is cook that stew measure everything weigh everything input it into my fitness pal and there's actually a feature in there called my recipes so if you plan to eat that for the next two days then once you enter it in once you'll be able to save it and you'll be able to utilize it for future use number five you got to have your accessory foods your quick go-to's and i live off quick go-to's oftentimes i'm either working out coaching getting the kids ready for school then i got meetings in the afternoon then i got to work out later in the day and so for me it's hard to get calories in and it's very hard to get protein in it's also very hard to get fiber in so some accessory meals or accessory foods are like pre-packaged nuts you can do the fiber gummies which i absolutely love to get my fiber count up i'll do a lot of protein drinks i love the premier protein drinks or the fair life protein drinks protein powders or accessory foods, Neri's bars or protein bars. Those are fantastic ways to get your protein up. They don't take much to eat them. Like who cannot just eat a chocolate bar, but it's high in protein. So make sure that you have accessory foods on hand so that you're hitting your calories, you're hitting your protein goals and you're hitting your fiber count. Number six, track your water. A couple little hacks are, if you're planning to drink three liters of water, then you might have three liters of water laid out in front of your office, your desk at work, wherever it might be, in small 500 ml water bottles. This way you know at the end of the day how much water you have left. Some people buy the giant water bottles that are three liters measured out, and then they just put that water bottle, they'll pour some out into a cup, they'll drink it. At the end of the day, they're gonna be able to see how much water they have left. Or a third method is if you use one water bottle, which could be one liter, then you can do an elastic band that you move from the top to the bottom. So every time you drink one full liter water bottle, you move one elastic band down to the bottom, you drink your second one, you move the second one down, the third one, you drink the third one down. Congratulations, you hit your three liters of water. And number seven, enjoy your treat and make sure it works within your budget. If you wanna eat ice cream, you can eat the ice cream, but make sure that you plug it in to make sure that it fits within your macros. 
And tip number eight, if your food is not pre-planned, make sure that you punch it in my fitness file before you eat it. And going back to RJ's tip of making sure that you pre-plan 75%, well, that means you have 25% of your food that is free food, but make sure that you plug it in to make sure that it works first. So before you eat that 25% of the food, whatever you have left, plug it into your MyFitnessPal. Because it could be the difference between eating the whole thing and plugging it in and realizing that you went over your calories or maybe you went over your carbs or maybe you went over your macros or whatever it may be. So it could be the difference between eating the whole thing and going over, or maybe you just get a bite. But either way, 25% is what you get. Plug it in before you eat it. Number nine, I want you to set timers or reminders on your phone, even your calendar, whatever's right in front of you, make sure that you have a reminder or a timer set so that you know when you should either A, get up and do more steps, or B, you should be drinking your water, or C, you should be eating your food. A lot of us wait till the end of the day to get our steps in and we're finding at 10 at night, we're trying to get our steps in. Well, no, if you set a timer and it could be the same timer for all three, you're gonna be moving around, could be at your desk, could be at your office, could be at home, doesn't matter. Number two, a lot of us skip meals, right? And what happens is at the end of the day, we just don't eat. Now you would think, well, RJ, if I don't eat, I'm gonna lose weight. But the problem is if you don't eat long enough, guess what happens? Your body goes into feast mode. Your body's hungry and it's gonna wanna eat and you may not even know it, but next thing you know, you're in the cubbies and you're eating a big bag of chips, just spooning it into your mouth out of your hands because you're so hungry. And then number three, water. We wanna try and preload as much water in the day, so start early as possible, so that by the end of the day, you're not jugging a liter of water right before you go to bed, because guess what? You're gonna be up all night peeing. So set reminders and timers wherever you're gonna be, probably on your phone, could be on your computer, but this way you're prepared for those three major things. Now when it comes to outings, and when it comes to being on a meal plan or when you're focused on your goals, we know things are gonna come up. Kids parties, Christmas, work gatherings, whatever it is, I don't want you to avoid them. I want you to pre-plan. So for instance, every weekend, we've been going to kids parties. And what happens at kids parties? What do they feed us? Generally, some type of pizza, hot dogs, and cake, right? So what is that? That's Carb City, and that's a ton of fat. Now what we wanna do is pre-plan, so we wanna Prepare high protein meals and lots of vegetables. So for instance, you can have a green shake that's blended up with spinach, or you can have a protein shake prior, maybe two protein shakes prior. So one first thing in the morning and one while you're driving there. You might also do the same after the outing. And then remember, we always wanna pre-plan our food. So if you don't know what's happening at the kid's party, you don't know what the meal is, well then you wanna pre-plan as much high protein and vegetables and fiber prior so that when you get there, you'll have a better understanding of what type of food is there. And you might just have to eyeball it. Whenever you eyeball your food in MyFitnessPal, always go over. So for instance, if you type in a slice of pizza and it may have been a smaller slice of pizza, go with the bigger one in MyFitnessPal because you're better to be slightly under in calories than to be a lot over. And there you guys have it. These are our top 10 things you must have for meal planning success. Thanks Coach RJ for joining me on Yuri's Kitchen. Thanks guys and I'll see you next week. Bye guys.